Hey everybody, I'm Michelle with Birdie Bloom and today I am bringing you this special piece. If you don't already know what it is, I'm about to tell you. What this is here is the actual original Rambler. Now it wasn't called original Rambler, it was just called a Rambler. But it is the original or referred to many as the OG because this came before what you more commonly see which is technically a Rambler's, Rambler's Legacy. The Rambler's Legacy is often referred to just as a Rambler, but it is a different bag, and we're gonna talk about that. So, it has a different style number two. The Rambler, the original Rambler. This will not have a style number in it. We'll get into that as well. Um, it has a random registration number, but the style number is 9735, and it was new in the summer of 1986. Here is a catalog photo. And in this catalog photo, some of the words or terms used to describe it is spacious carry-all, which I think describes it quite well. Um, but yeah, this bag is a little bit more rare. Obviously, it's gonna be more expensive. I happen to have it with the tags, original, unused, um, and it is delightful, very delightful. So, um, <clears throat> has a 43 inch adjustable strap. I have it on the second to shortest hole here, and, or second to longest, I guess. Um, and it's 12 by eight by four and a half inches. And some things that are different, uh, there's no back pocket. The Legacy, the Rambler's Legacy does have a back pocket. That, by the way, is a style number um, 9061. I'll show you here in a little bit. But again, this is 9735, the actual original um, Rambler, okay? And it's just a different bag. So some things that I look at, because I obviously want to try to catch these cheaper, because they are very pricey, um, and being sold by somebody who doesn't know what they are, so they don't, they're not gonna know the style number, and they're not gonna necessarily know the name. You see there's this gusseted pocket. It's not a huge front gusseted pocket, but it's a gusseted pocket. And then this flap here. This bag to me looks much bigger in pictures than it is in person, which I find very weird. I mean, it's still a very big bag, but it looks so big in pictures. And I usually find the opposite. I usually think bags look a lot smaller than what they actually are. This is one that does not. <clears throat> Um, if you can see the strap, there are no rivets in it. The original strap is going to just have the holes and it does have a little bit of the rawness on the side here or the inside and under the flap, here's that very spacious gusseted pocket, but you have inside this huge cavity, a back zipper wall pocket and the Creed is then on this uh, back wall here. Um, I'll show you a picture of this Creed here in this photo. There you go. Um, this was not, you'll find a lot of these were made in the original New York City factory. This one was not. So I, I showed you the catalog photo here. I'll show you again, 1986 new here. Um, so that's when it came out. Now, when did they stop making it? I can't say for sure. All I can tell you in my research, the last um, Rambler 9735 that I see in a catalog of the catalogs that I have is was seen in 1990. And here's a picture of that one. So this is the last one that I have seen. Now, just because even if it wasn't in any other catalog, um, again, I don't have them all, so I can't say that for sure. But even if it wasn't, that doesn't mean that Kush didn't sell it. There are some bags that haven't made it into any catalog or nobody has any catalog photo for, such as the Wendy. Haven't found a catalog photo for that bag. That bag was sold heavily. There's a lot of Wendy's out there. But <clears throat> so sometime around the 1990 is when this bag um, probably ceased production. I have never seen this bag with a style number in it. So that means it was definitely not made past 1994. And I shouldn't even say definitely because just because I haven't seen it doesn't mean it doesn't exist, right? But if you have seen it, then I would love um, for you to share that. But I have not ever seen the original Rambler style 9735 with an actual style number in it. Um, 
insinuating that it was definitely, it ceased production before 1994. So let's bring in a Rambler's Legacy. This is a very unique color, guys. This is current with nickel hardware, but let's see. I'm gonna talk more about this color current in another video, and I'm also gonna talk about the Rambler's Legacy style 90, 61 in another video, but I'm going to show you just a size comparison right here Try to get approximate size comparison just so you can see How much wider this bag is because they both have gusseted pockets. Obviously this just has a small flap It does not have a flap with a tab on it um, This is wider right and in the back this has a back pocket, whereas this one does not. Just a, that's just a seam there. Um, and also, as you can see, there are uh, grommets in the strap. So we're gonna put her to side, because that's not what we're talking about today. That bag is often called um, the original Rambler by a lot of people. I understand why they're doing that, even though it's not technically the original Rambler. Coach remade that bag and redesigned it many times the more current styles they call them like rambler whatever rambler 16 rambler i mean there's a, there's a lot of names so they've redesigned it a lot from the rambler's legacy and therefore a lot of people consider that an original rambler but technically this is the a rambler oh gee i guess i i don't know can i say that enough i've probably said it enough i'm gonna stop saying it the original Rambler. Okay, that was the last time. But here she is on. She kind of has like a briefcase-esque look. I mean, not so much. I, I mean, she doesn't have the double tabs, but bags that I think about when I think about the Rambler OG are like the Musset and the Carriers, even though they are still very different. Um, yeah, she's smaller than some of those briefcases, but still very big. So that's a shoulder carry. Let's put her across the body here. Often big bags like this, when I carry them cross body, I carry them on the back of my hip. I don't know about you guys. That's how I do it. And I'm more so carrying it for convenience and comfort. Maybe I'm going long distance, but this is how she looks on. She's kind of big, huh? Oh, this bag is so soft. It's that untouched vintage leather. Oh, that I just love. Oh my gosh. It has this like very silky matte feel to it. Oh, it's just oh, lovely. Beautiful glow, not shine, but glow. This is the original Rambler. Uh, new in 1986 and not likely made much past 1990. So, but at least 1986 to 1990. So there you guess I should show you. Showed you the Creed. I'll show you this little guy too. This is the tag on it. See mahogany, this bag is mahogany, that dark brown style number 9735 Rambler bag. Yep, okay. Well, if you liked this uh, video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any more Vintage Coach bag talks by myself. And if you really like looking at Vintage Coach, then join my Facebook group if you're on Facebook, Vintage Coach Eye Candy, so that you can just see more pictures, see people's collections, post your own pictures, your own finds. Um, yeah, just fun stuff. So go ahead, uh, join that group. Love to have you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. Thanks for commenting. All right, bye-bye.